Alright, so uh, I decided I was going to do a, um, a tour of my reptile room, my basement. And, um, but in order to save you guys some time and not try to fit all this in one video, I decided to break it up into parts. And this is part one, and this is going to be the fish. And, uh, yeah, I know it's a reptile room tour, and there's fish in it, and fish on reptiles, blah, 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 but they're down here. So, we're, we're going to have to take a look at them, of course. Um, Alright, so starting off, we have, this is my 40-gallon um, breeder tank. And it is home to uh, two Severums. One there, the other one's back there. They don't always get along. Usually after tank cleaning they, they go into breeding mode and sometimes they squabble a bit. But they've been together for three or four years. And that's the younger one. And the older one back there. Let's see if I can poke her out. There she goes. She, uh, I've had her for, oh gosh, about nine years, and maybe more. Give or take, yeah, you can see how colored up they are and how dark. So they're in breeding mode right now. But yeah, actually, if you go back and watch some of my early, early videos, before I was a reptile channel, you'll see uh, this Severum and some of those fish videos that I posted. There's also a uh, four-lined pimloaded catfish right there and an Asian upside down catfish and I'm gonna have to get in there to get the to show you guys the catfish oh there he goes and he's back hiding again I never see this guy okay so, uh, so yeah, that's the 40 gallon breeder tank. Upside down cabbage I've had a long time too. I've had him for about nine years, I'd say. Him along with the seven are two of my oldest fish. Yep, and that's it for in here. Just the two catfish and the two severums. And, um, filter I got on here is it's an old one I've been using this filter for years Penguin 330 alright so let's move on so here I got my 55 gallon community tank it was originally going to be a South American community tank but uh, I had a, a planted Asian tank that I didn't want to take care of anymore, so I threw the fish from that tank in here. So now it's a little bit of a mix. And uh, the stock list in here is a long one. There's a lot of different stuff. I'll try to. None of them particularly like the camera. So there's uh, scissor tail rasboras. Some of these guys are really old. I think like the one I'm looking at now with that crooked back, he's at least three years old. All the rasboras are pretty old actually. Siamese algae eater. There's also a, a single platy. I used to breed platies for my garter snake. Uh, not anymore, but I still have one left. Um, there goes a lamp eye tetra. I think there's six of those in there. Some black neons. Pearl Garami. I saw a, uh, let's see, there's a, um, oh, Brilliant Rasbora. There's a couple of those left from my Asian tank. Neon Tetras. I have six of those left. I try to keep the schools in groups of six at least. But it doesn't always work out. I do have a single rummy nose tetra. 
And I just haven't been able to find more of those elsewhere for sale. There it goes. Love Romy Nose Tetras. He seems content to school with the other fish. And Bloodfin Tetras. We have six, five or six of those. And there's also a Rubber Lip Placostomus. Right there on that rock. And there are various uh, Corydoras. A green Cory, an albino green Cory. A spotted, a peppered. I think that's it. And I buy them in groups too, same species groups, but I kind of have bad luck with Corys. I always have, and I don't know why that is. So, let's come around here. Oh, yeah, there's two of the Corys. They're gone. None of them like the camera. See, so this is a fun tank. I used to be into the big fish. You watch my old videos, I had a lot of native fish. Um, and I don't have any native fish anymore. Not because I don't dislike them, it's just, you know, I just don't have a tank for them. And I wanted to try something different. So these, this tropical community is pretty nice looking. I like this. So I'm starting to veer away from the bigger fish and into the little community fish. I like the diversity. And the filter on that's the same as on the other one, a Penguin 330, I think. It's for a 75 gallon tank. Look at this bar has one eye missing. Yeah, he does. I think he may have always had that though. I know he's had it for a while. Alright, we'll do a quick sweep. Love the neons, need to get more of those. Alright. And over here we have a 75 gallon tank and a pair of Midas cichlids or red devils, whatever you want to call them. One or the other. There's my, my female up there. She's about nine years old. I've had her forever. And then the male, I've had him, him about uh, three years. Yeah, three years. That sounds right. And uh, they've only spawned once, and then they ate the eggs, and they haven't spawned since, but they generally get along. They tussle with each other sometimes. But usually, you know, it's like this. And they keep their tank pretty barren because... They're just so destructive. They're gonna knock. They knock that heater around all over the place. They take off the filter intake. These rocks and ball, the ping pong balls, they all get moved around. They shovel gravel. They're just a, a mess. There's no point putting stuff with them. And you can't keep them with anything else. That's for sure. I'm trying to get them to fight with me, but because he doesn't want to. Anyway. And the, the filter on that, again, is a penguin. Something or other. Penguin 330, I think. And now those are called Marine Land. Those are the Marine Land filters. And they must not like the camera either. She has a nasty bite mark on her underside. I think the male caught it. Well, it must have been the male that did it. And I had a divider in here for the last two weeks while I medicated. And uh, she's doing pretty good. I just took the divider out yesterday and now I'm watching them to see how they get along. But that was the first incident in the last three years that they've been together. So we should be alright. I just have to keep my eye on her. I don't want to lose her to him. What with her being so old. Alright, so last but not least, 
we have a 100 gallon tank here with uh, three tin foil barbs, an African featherfin catfish, and Oscar who is just chilling there on his side for some reason. Don't know if I should be alarmed by that. And the sailfin placostomus. 100 gallon tank. This is an old tank. Uh, you've seen it in my videos before. It used to be full of sunfish years and years ago. Um, slate bottom steel frame. Super heavy. Filter. We got a um, Aqua Clear, which is now Fluval. 110. And a canister filter. Fluval. What does that say? Uh, I can't read that. 405. Oh, there goes Oscar. He's up and about. So Oscar's about, um, let's see, I got him in 09. So, seven years old. Tinfoil barbs are about four years old. Same thing with this catfish. And I've had that pleco for three years. And that's my biggest aquarium. So yeah, not a lot of fish, not as many fish as I used to keep for sure. Um, definitely veering more towards reptiles these days. I'm just sick of water change, guys. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. Um, and hassling with these filters and yeah, Rep and the reptiles are a little bit easier, I think. It's something different. But I would like to get some more native fish again. There's a lot of other kinds of fish I'd like to try keeping. I don't think I'll ever give up fish completely. They're my first love. When I say I don't want to keep aquatic you know, fish anymore, I mean all aquatic animals. So I'm kind of, I think I'm done with turtles and things like that too. I just it's just those water changes, man. I'm gonna do a quick sweep through again. Minus cichlids, community tank. and 40 gallon with the Severums and catfish alright so next time I'll do a lizard video or a snake video um, you know something hopefully sooner than later and uh, yeah thanks for watching like comment subscribe and all that I do, oh yeah, that's right, I do have a, a five gallon fish tank on my desk that has uh, a betta and some galaxy, no not galaxy respores, uh, some kind of tiny respore species, uh, what are they called, yeah whatever, it doesn't matter, um, on my desk, but we don't need to look at that, that's not a big deal, and uh, we'll leave off with a shot here of Ogopogo. Uh, looks like he's napping down there. <laughs>